morning. Welcome back to Atlanta and Company. I'm Christine Flora. Imagine if your job was to trot across the globe to investigate the supernatural or try to answer the world's most intriguing, unexplained mysteries. That's the Sci Fi Channel's reality show, Destination Truth, which follows paranormal researcher Josh Gates. And we're thrilled because Josh joins us this morning to tell us all about the brand new season. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I am great. Thrilled to be talking to you. Congratulations on another season. And I understand that this season you're going to be traveling to even more extreme destinations. Tell us all about it. Well, the show is uh, really uh, a weekly uh, travel adventure show. We try to take our viewers to really exotic spots. We want to go to places in the world where people are either seeing strange creatures or uh, claim to be experiencing you know, paranormal phenomena. So this season we'll be traveling to some really neat islands in Micronesia, to Southeast Asia in Cambodia. We'll be doing a trek across Siberia. Uh, we'll be headed to Madagascar off the coast of East Africa. So some really great destinations on tap. And our season premiere will be uh, in the ruins of Pompeii in Naples, Italy. So it's, it's a great opening episode. Unbelievable. So tell me, personally speaking, I mean, what is that like for you, Josh, to be able to travel all over the world? I mean, you mentioned Tanzania, Kenya, Madagascar. Tell me that experience, what it is for you. Well, it's great. I mean, for me, it's a dream come true. You know, I'm, I'm a travel nut, and I went to school for archaeology, so uh, I've, I've always been a, a real travel uh, enthusiast, and to find a show that was able to marry my interest in, in travel and in history has just, I mean, it's, it's been amazing. But what's really great about it is to be able to go to some of the places that we go to. You know, these aren't, for the most part, these aren't tourist destinations. Right. You know, we're, we're in spots that, that people don't get a chance to see very often, so to be able to bring those places home and, and to share them with our viewers, is that's really the thrill. Absolutely. And I think one of the cool things about the show, too, is it's not a big, huge production. In fact, myself, the audience, really feels like we're on the road with you. So tell us what is that, what is that like with the crew and you guys putting it all together almost in such an intimate fashion for us. Well, that's really the idea. You know, I, I always say if people haven't seen the show, um, it isn't like a big flashy travel show. It's really guerrilla. We, we really, by design, are trying to make the viewer feel like, as you said, they're on the trip with us. So the, the crew is um, just eight of us. It's made by a very small group of people. Everybody who makes the show is also kind of on the show. So you really, we kind of break down that fourth wall. You get to see the crew out there in action. And really what you see is what you get, you know. Right. Uh, you, you're really riding along with us, and it's very improvised. So we don't really know what's around the next corner. We don't know what that next eyewitness is going to tell us. And we usually end up having a lot of misadventure because of that. And that's <laughs> right. really, I think, the fun of the show, you know. There's a lot of flat tires and bad meals, and, and we try to feature all that on air because that's really the fun of travel. You know, travel isn't um, typically, sanitized and uh, exactly. you know if you've been anywhere you know that usually things go wrong absolutely and that's what I was just gonna say the show's not only interesting and spooky but some of those misadventures are so humorous so that's got to be great for you that you're you know this is you're tackling serious subject matter but yet there's a lot of humor in many of the episodes yeah, that's what we're trying to do. You know, I think that um, it's kind of a lot of different shows in one. You know, it's a travel adventure show. Sometimes it's a food show. Sometimes it's a comedy. And then at night it has this really eerie investigative, you know, component where we're trying to get to the bottom of these, uh, of these sightings. Now, something interesting for fans that is going to happen this season is the paranormal investigation that you're going to be conducting actually underwater. Can you give us a little hint about that? Well, you know, there's a lot of ghost hunting that goes on on the Sci-Fi Channel, and we always try on Destination Truth to be a little bit different. You know, we don't want to go and do a haunted house. There's a lot of that uh, happening over on Ghost Hunters, and they do a great job at it. So we try to go to exotic hauntings uh, and, and, you know, places that are uh, kind of off the beaten path. And we had an opportunity to investigate a sunken uh, Japanese fleet from World War II in Micronesia, cool. a place that locals, you know, living around these islands where these ships went down, they believe these waters are haunted. And so we said, well, you know, could we do an underwater ghost hunt? And we got a great robotic ROV with us, and it did a lot of scuba diving, a lot of deep diving. And it's an amazing episode to see what's on the bottom of the Pacific there, planes, and boats, and tanks. It, it's incredible down there, and it's a neat episode. It's certainly the most unique paranormal show I think we've ever done. Josh, what has been for you the scariest occurrence for the new season? 
Uh, there's been a number of scary things. We, we went to a place in Micronesia where the, the legend is that these ruins at this island are notoriously haunted. And if you go to these ruins, people get sick and they die. That's, that's the local belief. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, and I got very, very ill uh, in this episode. Uh, in fact, it's, uh, you know, graphically ill. Oh, <laughs> and, no. um, and uh, it was a really scary night. And so every once in a while on this show, you know, I, I kind of come at these stories as a healthy skeptic. But every once in a while, you end up experiencing what the people say you're going to experience. And that's when it gets, you know, kind of hairy. Right. Did you hightail it out of there after you got sick and said, OK, thanks. <laughs> um, we're out of here. Yeah, I wasn't really in a hightailing position. I was laying on my back for most of oh it. Oh, my gosh, you poor thing. That is scary for <laughs> sure. OK, now I have to ask you last question. Is there anything, any place? I mean, you've done so many cool things, but is there place? mystery, something you haven't investigated yet, even on the upcoming season that you still really want to do, at least at some point? Well, I think the great thing about this show is there's a lot of places left. You know, I think when we started, we thought, wow, are we going to burn through all these creature stories in a couple of seasons? Are we going to be able to keep doing this? And the more, it's like the more you travel, the more you want to travel. Right. And the more you hear about new places. And so we've got a laundry list, you know, pages and pages long of places we'd love to go. And as, as many episodes as we've done now, there's still, you know, more than 100 countries we've never touched down in for the show. So um, plenty of stuff still to do. Absolutely. It's a great big world out there full of mystery, and we're glad that you're uh, trying to solve them all. Thank you, and congratulations with the new season. Thank you very much. Destination Truth premieres Thursday night at 9 o'clock on 